All right, guys. Today we are looking at a very important concept in React Native. Come on, you are trying to run your React Native project, and these two errors keep fighting you. The first one on my left hand side is going to be when you run MPS Expo. Okay, let's start from the right because this is the first command MPS Expo start. Okay, why you scan the code immediately? You scan the code with your mobile or if you are using an Android emulator, it's going to boom, it's going to bring out this error. Something went wrong. Um, sorry about that. You can go back home or try to reload the project. Okay. Then from the recommendation of Expo Go documentation, then when you do MPS Expo start dash dash tunnel, you add a tunnel flag, then it's going to give you this continuous n group tunnel to too long to connect, and you do it again, just the same thing. Then what if you want to go ahead to you know, uh, you may get some solutions from Stack Overflow. You add the dash dash clear flag, or you go ahead to do dash dash uh, catch, uh, clear catch, or whatever. I even went ahead to restart my system, or I also went ahead to close VS Code, shut down the terminal, and restart again uh, with all the dash clear dash tunnel and the rest. But nothing, there was no lasting solution. Okay, so that's why I'm doing this video, guys, to help you get something that actually works. So, how do we fix this? Okay, this is a network uh, issue, right? Which we are going to fix right now because you can see here, Expo is going to try to connect to, um, is going to try to connect metro using this ip ipv4 network all right this is 100.00180 but uh your network your, your your system network you know on of Expo Go might have changed to another network right you are still trying to connect with this network so it's going to display something went wrong and tunnel sometimes can do n group and too hard or to, to, took too long to connect so let's how do you fix it so the first thing you have to do go to your powershell open powershell okay i'll just go right here i search for powershell go to start search for Okay, so go ahead, open PowerShell as admin. Okay, open your Windows PowerShell, open as an administrator. Okay, so once uh, PowerShell is opened, let me just clear here. All right, so once it's open, there is a command which I will share in the description of this video. So I'll just paste that command. Okay, so what is it command about set XM React Native Packager host name? Okay, it regarded the network settings for the uh, uh, the React Native Expo Go, the network is it connect to. Okay, once you paste that, leave that there. All right, then go back, go to your start menu again. This time, search for open CMD, type CMD on the start menu. CMD. Okay, so go ahead, open CMD, normally not as admin, so just open, click on open. MD, what you need to do, check for the IP config of your network, so just type IP config here, yeah? so hit enter. Alright, so it's going to go ahead to display the configurations of your network okay so what you are looking for go down to where you have wireless local area network adapter wi-fi then look for ipv4 address okay so go ahead this is what you are oh, copy 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 so i'll close this then go back to uh our departure we opened earlier right here okay so you know that we already pasted some code so what you have to do 
remove this part remove this last part and go ahead to paste go ahead to paste the code we copy earlier control v to paste okay so set okay it's going to set this react navy package package host name and this port is going to set this network port so i'll go ahead to hit enter okay once everything is done correctly you are going to see a success message displayed awesome so here this is it success specify value was saved so once you are done with this then what you just close everything close um, powershell okay then what you need to do close this terminal okay in most cases you restart your your vs code you know close it and open it again so but let's let's close this terminal all right first press ctrl c ctrl c is going to exit so so after we run mps start it's going to come up and display the error code but there's something i want you to see very importantly okay so if you look here closely you are going to see the new ip address we are running at all right okay on which our expo project is running so you discover it's going to be 192.16 uh, 139.136 uh, at port 8081 which is the new ipv4 address we copied earlier okay so that is it has uh, successfully changed to this new one so Expo is definitely going to work with this. Okay, so we, we scan the QR. Let's quickly do that. Boom. So you can see that it's going to bundle. All right, we are not using dash dash tunnel anymore. This is going to just and boom. It's going to you know come up with what we have. Right. So I I just hope this video helps you. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel. I will see you in the next video.